Remember the first time I shot a nigga Rah. Mask on Mary Poppin' nigga Rah. I bag shit like I'm shopping, nigga yeah. Toe tags for a lot of niggas yeah. Cocaine, yeah, I'm dope Welcome to the Game 365 Podcast I got Oakland's very own D-Lo, man What's happening with you, bro? What's up, my boy, man? Yeah, one love, man I appreciate you oh, coming you out, brody good, man. You know Real street I mean? nigga, man For surely Yeah, yeah, for yeah sure. Hey, so, you know, I mean, I know where you're from. Everybody know where you're from in the music world, but the world want to know where you're from, bro. Um, For the world to know, man, I'm from East Oakland, California. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the, the mecca of the bay. Uh, and I'm one of them ones from there. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see y'all hit up y'all shit like us, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you know, we thought yeah, I'd do yeah. shit the same guaranteed, way, man. Guaranteed, yeah. guaranteed, man. So, you know, what what was it like growing up in Oakland? Typical, I mean, uh, typical, just, you know, same hood shit, same. I, I didn't struggle too bad. I yeah, went through yeah. struggles for surely, but I wasn't the nigga who was homeless or none of that yeah. type of shit, but it was the same shit. I grew up in Oakland. I grew up in Richmond. Like, I grew up in nigga, poverty shit. I, I didn't have it good, you feel me? But Yeah, you, you think know. you think you growing up like that, you know what I'm saying, influence you to, you know, start hustling, get into the music, and, you know, start putting your passion and your pain into – you know what I'm saying? What you was rapping about and shit? For sure. You, you forced to do that shit when you when you come up like that. You yeah. ain't got a choice. You either going to sink or swim. So Facts. You know, I was swimming. Yeah, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. Yeah. What was some of your influences coming up in the bag, man? Because you guys got, mm. you know, rest in peace, Mac Dre. You got Fody. For sure. You know, uh, you guys, man. Mac Dre was number one. That's my favorite rapper of all time. Everybody know that. That's like when it kind of music. He was my number one influence. But yeah, D R E. But man. other than that, <laughs> just I, I I came up listening to all like local shit. So niggas like Keek and Jack and yeah, like delinquents and you feel me? Just all the old school town niggas and the city niggas like Mess mm -hmm. and Quinn and like I listened to all that coming up because that's what was around me. Like my daddy, my 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 uncle. That's all they listened to. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, Three times like, crazy, man. I used surely. to, you know, keep it. Oh, God. That was that well, shit. Yeah, you know that's, what I'm that's, saying? That's, that's my era. That's yeah. the type of shit. I still ride and listen to old shit like that's that. That's that shit right there, man. You know? Has any of them, like, linked with you, you know what I'm saying, when, in your in your beginning of your career? Was it, like, was it love reaching out? Was it oh, no problem? Surely. Motherfuckers was fucking with you, rocking with you and shit? Nah, for surely. It was it was definitely genuine, and, and everybody reached out. I, I don't think I had a problem with nobody as far yeah. as that came before me in the Bay, like all the OGs and shit, like everybody embraced me, you feel me? It was like, I was the next young nigga up, you feel me? It wasn't nobody else other than me and Stalin then. So it was like, you feel me? You know, Stalin had the, the trap drug dealer music yeah, and yeah, I had yeah. the party trap shit, so. It, it was just it was inevitable to happen. Shit. Was that was that was the was that the were, were the high feet like just the beginning of that or was that part a lot of, that? of people? It's crazy because a lot of people like add me into the high feet movement when really I started rapping when that shit was like over with. You know oh, I mean? okay. But but I still had that energy because yeah. I come from the high feet movement. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, I still had that energy, and really it was no ho. Like no ho, no ho <laughs> was really the song that had that energy. Like if you listen to any of my other shit surrounding no ho, like my first album, The Tonight Show, me and DJ Fresh did like seventeen songs on that. No ho is the only song on that whole album that sounds like that. Yeah, yeah. Nothing else was turned up like that. Look at my next hit, You Play Me, is not a turned up song. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? It was like. It, it was it was this perfect timing, I guess. How do you transition in music, though, bro? It depends on what mood you in. You know what I'm saying? If you tipsy, if you blow. I mean, how you put everything together? Because you got you got classics, bro. I mean, I didn't have different different moments in my life. So, like with NoHo and all that shit, I was playing around. Uh, the the you play me get her no era and shit like that. Like I wasn't taking rap serious. Mm -hmm. I was just in and out of that shit. And it was like when I seen the opportunity, I would take it and. Bullshit like that, but like now, I ain't gonna lie. Like it's it's a whole lot different. Like I take rap way more serious now than I ever did, and it got a lot to do with Adderall. But I ain't gonna speak on that. Too <laughs> but um, y'all, I'm saying, yeah, shout out Debo. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Right yeah. now, I'm I'm more serious with my with my with my craft and my career than I ever been. I never took it this serious, and it's like I feel like this my 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 last run. Yeah. Because yeah. I really don't want to rap after forty. Yeah. I feel like like my album that's dropping right now is called Now or Never because that's how I'm really feeling. It's like nigga, it's now or never. That's what's up. I mean, if it don't crack now, then 
Yeah. AOB or something, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Yeah, I'm talking about I thought you was gonna say, you know, cause uh we ain't gonna get too deep into it, but you had to go do a little bit of time and shit. I thought you was gonna be like, you know, just writing raps and, and, nah. and sitting in the cell, you know, doing your thing. Yeah, that, I do that was no writing in jail. It's too active. I just yeah, even that. I just never was to jail. I've been going to jail since juvenile hall. I've been in jail seventeen times. It's just I never was the jail rapper. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I can't. My mind don't be there. It ain't that I'm just like, oh, nigga, I don't want to rap in jail. Do, 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 do. I'm D-Lo. No, my mind don't be there. I could write a rap in jail. Yeah, yeah. It's just not gonna be him. Yeah, yeah. You know what <laughs> I mean? It's not like it's niggas in there rapping better than me. I'm not gonna write a rap rapper and this niggas in here going crazy. You know how jail get. Them niggas talented. Everybody, their mama beating on the what? wall in the hole, niggas beating on the door. Fucking beating on- <laughs> them niggas too raw in there. I ain't finna play with them people like that. Yeah. Was that was that just you know having to go sit down for a little bit though? Was that something that you know got your mind right? Just like nigga, I'm about to touch down. No, I'm about to focus. That was that was number one. Hmm. That I can't even sit here and lie and be like, oh my kids. I've been there hella times. Like nigga, that was number one. Yeah. I was like, I mean, I'm 34, bro. Like I'm this shit over with now. Like hmm. nigga, niggas are still going to jail now. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd before that, but like now, like come on, bro. Yeah, that yeah. shit over with. You feel yeah. me? Like I got grown kids, nigga. Like, it matter now. Yeah, real It been talk. matter, but now, now I'm grown, grown, grown. Like, fuck all that jail shit. That shit for losers. Now or never. For sure. So what is the culture like in Oakland with the hip-hop? Like, on the underground, we know niggas that blew up, you know, niggas that's doing their thing, but what is the true Oakland culture that motherfuckers around the world don't know about, though, bro? Right now, the Oakland culture is kind of like it used to be. Well, when I say that, I mean as far as the grind go, like, because... Mm-hmm. Everybody, it's so many rappers now. Everybody independent. Yeah. Everybody got to figure it out. Figure it out. Yeah, real talk. You gotta find your way. Yeah. You got to find yeah. out how to yeah. how to do this shit. Some mm-hmm. niggas know how. Some niggas don't. Yeah, real talk. Some tough. niggas got the music to get them there, but don't know how to get their music there. Some mm-hmm. niggas know how to get the music there, but don't got the music to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know real talk. But some you just gotta figure that shit out, mm-hmm. and it's a way. It's just damn, that's crazy. Niggas too. doing it. What do you think? Is there is is it any like politics and shit that's keeping motherfuckers sure. from coming together and bubbling up and you know what I'm saying taking shit by storm? For sure, and, and that shit happening everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like that, Real talk. that shit, like that. Ain't, I don't even think that's a conversation to have because it's so dumb to me. Like yeah. I still make money. I still can get booked for shows. I still can do hella shit. These niggas can't do. Real talk. These niggas can't get booked for shows. Who gonna book you? It might, it might get shut down. Niggas is Ain't no too. might. <laughs> they don't even want to see if, if it's Yeah, they don't even want to fuck with it. No, niggas ain't getting booked for shows, bro. If, if a nigga getting booked for shows right now, it's because he's actually him. Yeah. It's undeniable. When it's a nigga who popping in the city, and but you with the bullshit, they don't give a fuck about that little money. They'll pass on that. They're going to book tough. somebody square. <laughs> I'm blessed to be able to still get booked, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing, though. What do you yeah. think that, you know what I'm saying? You think just your talent, the way you carry yourself, and just, you know, how you move with, you know what I'm saying, your, your niggas and shit, you know? I mean, I, I think it's me, but I think it's it's the music, for real. It's like, that's what carried me so long, for real. So I can't even sit here and say it's just they so in love with D-Lo, the rapper, to where yeah, they just yeah. come in. No, it's like... Nigga, that keep the music is what's gonna keep you relevant. Yeah, if you ain't making no new hot shit, nigga. They ain't, and it's crazy because I cannot make no hot shit, and I'ma still get booked off. No hoe, you play me and get her though. <laughs> you me? But, Regardless, but I'm past that. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, yeah. like I'm past nigga, that. evolve from that. Yeah, it's yeah. like, what is the connection? You ever uh, realize the connection from the Bay to uh, Seattle? Because yeah. nigga, we've been I've fucking, been fucking with y'all. Seattle for since two thousand like nine. 2010, it's been a connection before me. Like, I've been knowing about the Mac Dre, all that. Like, yeah. it's been a, them kind of niggas are the niggas that bridged Seattle and the Bay. Mm-hmm. Was niggas like Mac Dre and Jacka, uh, Jack and, and, and uh, what's breath from the city, uh, Andre Nicotina, mm-hmm. just all them kind of niggas. Like, they they bridged that, you feel me? So, yeah. Yeah, Juice, Juice. For sure. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I think he did six or seven out here in the yeah, pen. Juice had a brother. Juice got a brother from out here. Like, oh, okay. I used to really be out here. Like, yeah, that's what's you know up. I, mean? like, that's I know what's hell up. of motherfuckers out here. Yeah, that's a good thing. No, I blew on my mama. That's my nigga. I ain't got money with blue out here. Yeah, Shelly. that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Yeah. Don't you got a brother that rap, bro? Yeah, Sleepy. Yeah, that nigga. I was listening my to one of your brother. cuts. Yeah, see, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah, you got, yeah. it's, it's shit's in the family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, we, well, we the first out the family to, you feel me? <laughs> you know 
Yeah, that's what's happening, man. What, what what's going on with like you know, do you, do you plan on getting signed to a label? Or are you gonna push your own shit? Or what you looking at? How you feeling about it? I I don't plan on signing nobody unless it makes sense. But I am signed right now. I've been signing Empire since 2012 or something like that. I oh, was, okay. I was Empire first artist actually, so it's like a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type yeah. shit. Me and Gazi got like a different kind of relationship. That's know? what's happening. That's what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Nigga didn't so, turn yeah. his back on you when but, you got booked. But if they come talking that, you feel me, that shit, it got to make sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure. about a dollar. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I don't do this shit for the love like everybody else. I do it. <laughs> I done loved it alone. No. Yeah, this yeah. Shit is, I need the money. <laughs> fuck love. Who your top five about the bay? Right now or period? Yeah, period. History. Classic. My top five. Top five. It don't even matter if you, you know? Um, I'm gonna say Dre, Mess, um, Dre, Mess, Keep, Dre, Mess, Keep. Uh, damn, that's hard. There's a lot of motherfuckers coming up out that bag. Dre, Mess, <laughs> Keep. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have to say, uh, Stalin. Stalin. Um, and I'm going to go D-Lo. Okay. Yeah, you can't count yourself out, no, nigga. definitely not. <laughs> you so can't I, count yourself out. I would have put myself first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what's your hardest feature about the Bay? Because mm. you got the gang of cuts and shit. So. I ain't, if we talking rapping and not name-wise... Nigga, like, I got some cuts with some niggas off. <laughs> right now, I'm going to say Junior. I got a song with Young Junior right now that he fucking terrorized. Like, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Like, that nigga raw. That's what's happening. <laughs> Fuck with Junior. Is it is it a different experience with the bitches when you do music and shit? Like, you know, from just, you know, hitting cities and states and shit, performing. Is it like a different you know what I'm saying? Being a street nigga and not and already dealing with women and shit, and then you know when you get into music, it's like, bitch, I already know how you coming. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, yeah, that shit. I mean, niggas know what we expect. You feel me? I come from that ism, so yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, bitch, you better know what you dealing with. Yeah, <laughs> off top. When you come, don't come try to slide through here and not know what you slide through here to come fuck around with. Y'all you know talking about? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for real. But these bitches know, son. These bitches come in all different shapes and sizes and colors. And you feel me? Niggas like me know how to uh, see through all that. Yeah, guarantee. Yeah. Guarantee. Guarantee. Have you ever thought that, you know, like, damn, bro, I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, put this music on the back burner, man, and just, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and get some little niggas and, you know, and, 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 and do management and just, you know what I'm saying, push that level from the bay? To I I mean, I got a few artists I deal with. I got an actual artist that signed to me uh, named Nims. He signed an Empire now, too. But uh, I want to actually do do that, but I can't do that while I'm still trying to do what I want to do with yeah. my shit. You feel yeah. me? I can, but it's only so much I can do. But when I'm done rapping, though, that's definitely what I want to do. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm for surely going to be somebody's manager and, like, all that. Like, for sure. I, I want to give somebody the game that I learned and – the shit that I learned that I can't use because it's a little too late. You get, yeah, if you get, yeah if you, for sure. If that, I mean, it ain't never too late, but it, you get what I'm saying when I say yeah. that. Like, and I, this generation of music and all that yeah, shit going exactly. on. Like, yeah. It's a lot of newer shit going on, but I, I get it, though, now. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, of course, I'm going to use it and apply it to my own shit, but I know how to blow somebody up mm. for sure. I know how to. I know. I'm. I'm with songs, with beats, distribution, marketing. All that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm actually producing shit. Like, like it be niggas now. Like, niggas, you know how you know how niggas do verse licks and shit. Mm -hmm. you know, like, like let's say I'm out here in Seattle. Let's say I'm like, oh, I'm D-Lo doing verses. Da -da -da -da. Nigga, it's times, nigga. I don't even do verses for niggas. Nigga, like, bro, what's up? I want to get a verse, bro. How much you want? I'm like, man, I want like three thousand. Yeah. Like, all right, bro. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm like, or nigga, I got a song already ready right now. Hook, verse, beat. Ooh. Give me five thousand. I'm yeah. gonna get a producer what he want, and I'm I might make more than I would have made off just the verse. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Talk. And the nigga already got a whole song together. He's like, you already got, and all they gotta do is jump on it. Ready made. 
Yeah, and then if they, they hear the song, they like, damn, D Lo on the hook and a verse and I and the beat. That's already nigga, I helped them do their job. Real talk. Push this shit next level. Yeah, you already just, do your you thing. Know, just give me what I want. Like I, I got hella songs, bro, right now, I swear to God, and I'll just be certain niggas be asking for a verse and I might not want to do a verse for you. I got a song for you though. Or I got a, I got I got shit with just a verse on it. That, that I would have did for niggas like on my mama. I got shit Beating like Beating everything hooked to it. Yeah, just you gotta know how to make your money. Yeah, real talk. You know? Real talk. Hell yeah. I always ask this, bro. This is the Game 365 podcast. What's your definition of game? My definition of game? Yeah, G-A-M-E. Uh, knowledge. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, strategically thinking. Um, just like 100% realness. Like, yeah. Game is a lot of shit, though. You could give me game and your game ain't his game. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Your guarantee. game might not be game to somebody else. Yeah, for sure. But who's to say that? You could have gave me game on how to fucking play basketball. He gave me game on how to sell dope. It's universal. People look at game differently. Game yeah. is game. You feel me? And that's just whatever somebody teach you that's positive that you could really put into life and, and, and make some shit come up out of it. Real talk. That's how I look at game. Mm-hmm. Not just a motherfucker telling you some shit and putting you up on something. You're like, oh, shit, yeah, thanks for telling me that. Nah, nigga, t- put me up on some game with something that can better my life. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like that's game, you feel me? That's like nigga, a nigga be able to tell a nigga like, man, this nigga, the, nigga, this nigga told me and showed me this, this, and that nigga look at me now, nigga, off of what he showed. You feel me? Yeah. Like that's game. Real talk, real so. talk. Have you ever thought about, you know, since you did time and shit, you know, offering something for when niggas transition to the streets, just something, opportunity, platform, organization, you know, something to help motherfuckers transitioning, bro? Because you know, a lot of niggas ain't got that opportunity. Yeah, like, years ago when I got out the pen the first time, like, I was on that. Like, I wanted to, like, have a transition house for, like, uh, like juvenile delinquents. Like, mm-hmm. you know how you know how when you in juvenile hall and they send you to placement homes and shit yeah, like group that. Home. We call it group homes. Yeah, same yeah. shit. Group yeah, homes. Yeah. But you got group homes, then you got placements. Mm-hmm. It's, it's kind of a little different out there. Like, a placement, they send your ass hella far away. Oh. Somewhere, like, you can't go to your parents. You can't oh, go to a group okay. home. You got to go to this placement where it's hella other niggas like you at. It's kind of yeah. like jail still. Oh, okay. But I wanted to have a placement mm-hmm. like that and actually take the young black men yeah, to, like and really show them something different for real from mm-hmm. somebody that's really like them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it was just hella loopholes of trying to do that to where it would have took me hella time and and, and out of my daily life yeah, facts. To, to accomplish that. Like yeah. that's something I would really have to do when I'm not rapping for mm-hmm. real because I would have to go to school and then I'm a felon. So it's certain shit they don't let you do when it come to that field. You oh yeah, yeah. So I would have to be Legally a third party and, mm-hmm. and all this type of shit. But yeah, I definitely thought about and was like on it, like really was trying to do it and then hit a, a bump and gave up on it. Yeah, you know? but you know, just giving back to the game, a thought, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, an sure. artist retreat. You know, you got hella niggas in jail rapping. For I'm sure. going to put you niggas in a situation where niggas, you niggas will know how to do it the right way. Yeah. How to start a record label class or your program or something, you know what I'm exactly. saying? Because like you said, all the youngsters is rapping, doing their thing. You know what I'm and saying? That's the thing, everybody want to be their rapper. Bro, so many jobs in this shit, bro. A nigga can make so much money in this shit. I, I I know people right now I'm so close to. I ain't saying nobody names or nothing, but I done told niggas like, bro, you can. But you know how much money niggas make that shoot videos? Yeah. Ooh. No, listen, you want to know why they make so mm-hmm. much money now? Because guess what? To every nigga that shoot videos, it's 40, 50 rappers to every videographer, yeah. bro. Real talk. Real talk. 40, 50 rappers mm-hmm. to every videographer. So guess what? Nigga, ain't no such thing as, man, this nigga shoot videos way better than me, nigga. Y'all can't make no, nigga, impossible. Yeah. <laughs> I see niggas who just start rapping yesterday with videos, nigga. Hella videos, nigga. They, guess what? They had to, I don't care if you paid that nigga $200 for that video. Guess what? That nigga made $200 shooting that weak ass video for you, though. But guess what? He gonna keep eating. Yeah, he, he gonna, gonna get better, <laughs> and he gonna get better, and he gonna get better, and that's how it started. Facts. Nigga, I was weak as fuck when I was rapping. I hate all my first shit. Terrible. And the shit in the archives at old school. None of that. <laughs> but guess what? A nigga can't fuck with me right now. Yeah, yeah. I was weak to me for hella years. Fuck when I first started. I just was like, it, I wasn't my my passion wasn't in it. My I wasn't in it. I wasn't in it. I didn't love it. Nothing. I was like for the money for like, yeah, off top. literally, and that's what fucked me up. And now can't shit stop me. They can't fuck with me when it kind of that, you know, me that booth. Yeah, real talk. And all right. Oh, you be freestyling? I go punching yeah. in and shit. Shout out Debo. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, that Addy will do something to you, boy. Uh, why they why, why they call you uh, Rude Boy Indy Law? What is it? Two alter egos type shit? Nah, it ain't. It ain't even a alter egos. Rude Boy is like me and Sleep shit. Like it's our label. It's us. Mm-hmm. Rude Boy was like a, it's like a family. You feel me? I'm saying yeah, it's like yeah. a, it's a, it's not a gang. It, it's us. Like it started with me sleeping, my brother hungry. So. We just started calling each other. We all had dreads, and like me and Sleep was like hella infatuated with like Jamaicans and yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. fucking the movie Shot Us. That's what really had us on, yeah, on yeah. bullshit. Was that movie Shot Us? We you niggas like, like oxtails? What? <laughs> Dude, I love them. That's my number one dish. Nigga, I cook that shit all the time. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, love oxtails. Every yeah. way you can make them. Sleep. Yeah, guaranteed. Except for nigga, that nasty. I be. Curry, everybody what, can't. The, everybody can't cook oxtails. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. Everybody Sorry, can't. I cook. hate oxtails with hella fat on them and all that gooey ass shit. No, I need nothing but you hear me. Yeah, guarantee, guarantee, yeah, man. man. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you, man. I appreciate you coming through. Oh, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Good, it's man. love, you know bro. Yeah, it's one good, love man. for sure. You already know. You know it.